Don't kill me! Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. I had this nasty dream that I was a homeless guy living in the sewers. Oh, wait. Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this! 
Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. Could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. Now, if it wasn't for that... Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, uh, great. But, uh, if you could take a look inside, uh, just in case... Gladly. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out who it belongs to. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dial is described as the office. Was he calling his own office during the murder? Certainly worth checking. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place itself is interesting. Less than a hundred yards from the victim's office. I wonder why he stopped here. I will go to the office to see if the victim left a message. It's near the cinema on the third floor. We need to finish here before we can join you. Why would OCP get involved in this case? Not following politics, huh? The guy was Mills' campaign manager. OCP will do anything to get Mills elected. Yeah, if everyone hadn't been on strike, they would have brought the whole station down here. Why did you not join the strike? I owe Reed a favor. And you're too close to retirement to risk it. But there's nothing keeping you here, Officer O'Neill, apart from making my life less bearable. Well, somebody's gotta watch your clumsy ass. Were there any witnesses? There's that homeless guy across the street. He warned us about the current. He probably tried to steal something from the car. But it's hard to get anything out of him. His hand is fried, but he says he doesn't want an ambulance. Says he can't afford it. I will let you know if I find anything in that office. We'll meet you there, and maybe we'll grab a burger on the way. Not on my watch. Hey, I thought we were partners.
Like I told those cops, no ambulance. Just leave me be. You tried to rob a corpse. Now I am truly offended. Without me, these cops would have turned to ash. I should get a medal for it or something. You are only hurting your case. Now make your situation better and help me with this investigation. Oh, finally, you're judging me fairly. What do you know about that car? Oh, I know the guy who owns it. I mean, I knew him. He always stopped here to pick up this blonde gal. <laughs> Real peach, I'm telling you. <laughs> High class. Describe the woman. Well, she likes jewelry, but she's not covered with it like a Christmas tree. She knows how to wear it. That much I can say. long-awaited execution of the war criminal Ernesto de la Diego ended in failure when his military supporters, Red Rat, staged a bloody protest. Ernesto was acquitted to prevent further bloodshed. Ugh, come on, please! May I help you, officer? I want to speak with someone from Simon Page's office. Then you're in the right place. Agatha Crane, Simon's assistant. But I'm afraid we have to wait for Mr. Page if we want to go in. Why? <sighs> a keycard issue. I have to recode them every week because Mr. Page has a thing about security. But sometimes newly encoded cards don't work. I call them unpredictable little things. They can ruin even the best schedule. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, uh, what? Oh. Oh, God. That makes my schedule irrelevant. Were you or anyone else in the office yesterday after Mr. Page left? No. Mr. Page always stays late, and just the two of us work here. Allow me to check the phones. Mr. Page called the office during his murder. Of course. But first we need to get inside. Maybe you could help with the door. Follow me. All calls go through my phone. It's on the desk on the right. You have no new messages. The phone on Mr. Page's desk is connected to his answering machine. It's the only one in this office. This. Maybe he did not get a chance to record his message. Did Mr. Page like to sail? It was one of his hobbies. I don't know who he sailed with, though. He kept me out of his private life. Mr. Page's computer. I don't have access to it.
Mr. Page's private schedule. Some of his meetings were so secret that he arranged them for himself. I didn't even know about them. Receipts for gifts that Mr. Page gave during business meetings. Did you find any leads? You know, perhaps you should check out Mayor Kuzak's team. As the death of Mr. Page plays into their hands. According to his schedule, Mr. Page often met with a person marked as G. In fact, they met yesterday. Oh God, could he be the murderer? Do you know who that might be? As I said, Mr. Page had a thing about secrecy. I wasn't allowed to view his private schedule, so I don't know all the people listed there. What about his receipts? There was one for earrings. Who were they for? For Gloria. Oh, God. G. Gloria who? Gloria Lindbergh from Kuzak's campaign office. Mr. Page wanted her to change sides. Do you know where she lives? It's just a short walk from here. An apartment opposite the basketball court. I don't know the exact address. We have a suspect. I am on my way to question her. In the office, there is an assistant of the deceased. I'll keep an eye on this place till you get back. Kurtz will be here in a minute. He just went to get us a couple burgers. What a surprise. Not everyone in this city would return a wallet. I'd be letting my father down. Are you Gloria Lindbergh from Mayor Kuzak's office? So OCP is using less and less subtle methods to intimidate us. What do you want? I am here to ask questions about Simon Page. He's my political opponent. I have nothing more to say about him. Mr. Page was murdered last night. Oh, too bad for him. I, I kind of liked him. So why are you here? We have reason to believe that you are involved. On what basis? A witness testified that you met with Mr. Page shortly before he died. I was supposed to, for business. But Simon called my office and canceled the meeting. The investigation demands that I search your apartment. If OCP wants to frame me, you probably won't back off anyway, so come on in. I always wondered if there was a man hiding under that shiny armor. I have a prescription for them. I can't fall asleep when I'm alone in bed. I have a second glass if you want to loosen up. Is this a gift from Mr. Page? 
He gave them to me when we met. He was probably trying to buy his way into my favor. I lost the second one. I lead a busy social life. It's not a crime, is it, officer? I have various hobbies. Sailing is one of the more innocent ones. Do you like it, officer? Such strong hands can probably tie strong knots. So, am I under arrest? Maybe you want to cuff me? Negative. First, I would need to charge you. According to Mr. Page's schedule, you met often, too often for business meetings. <laughs> that doesn't make me a murderer. Simon contacted me a month ago. He wanted me to join Mills's campaign office. We slept together a couple of times, and there was something electrifying about it. Secrecy, his connections with OCP, the consequences if we were found out. And we were. His assistant figured it out. She must have reported us, and OCP killed him. They were afraid he might give me Mills's campaign details. You claim that Agatha Crane knew about your affair. Not only knew, but she blackmailed Simon. She's ambitious. She wanted to get a promotion out of it, but Simon fired her. When was Agatha fired? Maybe a week ago. <laughs> you should talk to her, not me. I intend to do that. Please stay at our disposal. Missing you already. Officer Neal, come in. Is the victim's assistant still with you? O'Neal here. We have a problem locating her, but I can assure you. Where is Agatha? A very good question. When you left, I came inside to take her statement, but there was no one here. Kirk showed up soon after. We've been looking for the lady ever since, but she's vanished into thin air. She couldn't have left the office without us seeing her, though. We must find her. New evidence suggests that she is the murderer. Once again, let's just check every corner. She couldn't just disappear. How do we know that the missing lady is the one who did this? She had a motive. She threatened to reveal Paige's... A secret button hidden in the desk. This is getting more interesting. As long as it's not red, I think we can... The case of the mysterious disappearance solved. Now all we have to do is open that door. It looks like she used a computer. Open Maybe we can find sesame. something there. Ah, oh, sure. Keep reminding me of the delicious sesame-sprinkled burger buns we have in here. Just delete already! That's the problem. Agatha Crane, you are under arrest for the murder of Simon Page. It was just removing an obstacle. You have the right to remain silent. I had the right to do it. He didn't even realize that by blackmailing him, I proved that I'll do anything for the job. What else would you want from a political strategist? You have the right to an attorney. This is my attorney. I wasn't born to end up in jail. 
I was born for great things, and only I decide my fate. There are no bullets in that gun. The clip is out. Unpredictable little things. Again, it's frustrating when they ruin even the best schedule. Everything will go according to plan for the next several decades. Okay, lady, show's over. You're coming with us. I hope they throw away the key. Because of your cold-blooded murder, I'll have to reheat my burgers. <laughs>